You're not fucking nobody. You're dancing. And you're making hella fucking money dancing. Niggas wish they could do that shit. I promise y'all. I promise y'all. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Diamond. And y'all, I'm in the car because, y'all, I don't really have a fucking desk or anything. I asked her. <laughs> but get with me. And it's morning, early as fuck. And I want to fucking finish my, okay, y'all. I used to call this shit a blunt, you feel me? But your girl is a fucking jit now. So I call this shit a split. Uh -oh. <laughs> But I want to finish my fucking spliff. And I can't smoke in my apartment, so. Your girl is in a fucking car. And it's early as fuck, so. Don't mind me. I look a hot ass mess. But yeah. This video is long over fucking due. It's really long overdue. And it's the fucking stripper Q&A. Okay, so I was on Instagram. And I told y'all to ask me some fucking questions. And I wrote the questions as well. I only did it twice. Like, the first time I did it, I got six questions. Second time I posted it, I got six of my questions. So, in all total, I have fucking 12 questions. And that is okay. That's okay because we're starting from nowhere. And you have to start from nowhere to get to somewhere. But, y'all. I mean, like, this spliff up before it get bright out and people start walking and shit. Let me light this bitch up. And then... Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. Yeah, no. Okay, I'm close to my house. I'm about to end... I'm about to pause the video real quick because my battery is low and I'm about to run, fucking run, run before another fucking light. I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, so I'm back. And y'all want to know the crazy ass fucking part though? I forgot my work bag is in the trunk. So, I could have got me a fucking lighter out the trunk. Instead of having to run upstairs. <sighs> I'm out of breath. But, oh well. And thank y'all I went too because y'all got me like a little mini ass shirt. Because <laughs> I don't want to ask this shit in the fucking car. And it's not my car. It's not my car, y'all. I have to spray this bitch out when I'm finished. <laughs> the person car, this is there's a non fucking smoker. So yeah. But I'm about to light this up and get into the fucking questions. <laughs> Here we go. So question number one. Was you nervous the first name? Okay, y'all. So, I really was nervous. I was nervous as fuck. Like, honestly, I was nervous as fuck. So, um... I lucky prepared myself. I was supposed to, like, you know, start on a Thursday. But I'm like, damn. My nails not done. My toes not done. My hair not done. I don't know what to expect, right? So I used Thursday to get my shit together. And then I went Friday. I wanted my sister to come with me. Like, not to dance, but, like, you know, to be, like, a customer. Like, to be, like, a support system. You feel me? But she wasn't with that. She didn't do it. So I'm like, all right, fuck it. Let me just do this shit on my own. You feel me? So I went. I called an Uber, and I ran, y'all. And y'all... It was the wrong fucking address. But the Uber driver is so nice that he he typed in a place. He found it. 
and then we drove all the way over there like all the way like that shit was far and then going inside going inside i was nervous as fuck i was nervous as fuck man i was nervous as fuck <laughs> i was like <laughs> but you know i just kept like you know pushing myself to like you know take that step so i went in i went to the person i'm like i wanted to dance like mm, you know i never fucking danced before <laughs> like, i was just nervous as fuck so the man the boss the manager whatever the fuck he went into the back took me took my id i signed some papers and then look y'all normally normally okay it depends it depends on the club but look this person he don't really do that he was just being funny especially because i was nervous as fuck and i never danced before so he was like turn around turn around let me see how you look so i turned around and then he was like dance let me see what you got <laughs> i'm like what the fuck y'all i'm on the spot so i started dancing you feel me i'm like shit let me just twerk <laughs> and that's what i did and he was like all right all right damn <laughs> and then i was out on the floor i mean but places are different places they just take your id and boom some places you have to audition what i did i feel like that wasn't an audition i feel like he was just you know being a nigga but because I was talking to some of the other girls and then they was like, no, nah, he ain't do that to me. So I'm, I'm like, all right, babe. But either way, I was a new dancer. So him doing that and then he's saying like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It like he gave me the confidence. Like, all right, bitch, I'm the shit. <laughs> I'm funny as fuck. But yeah, for real. But honestly, some places don't do that. Some places make you audition and some places don't. It just depends on the club you go to. I started off at like a small fucking club. So, yeah. Second question is, what made you want to be a stripper? <clears throat> yeah, I always wanted to fucking be a stripper. <laughs> I was, um, even in fucking high school, like I think 10th grade was when that shit started crossing my mind. Like. <laughs> It's just, I don't know, I love seeing them on the pole, like, that shit is so fascinating, and I'm like, damn, bitch, you is a badass bitch, like, you're a badass bitch, like, you can get on the pole, you can do all that tricks and shit, like, bitch, you making all that fucking money, like, <laughs> this is low-key one of my dream jobs, I'm not even fake. So... One day I was on Instagram and then that club I was talking about, like I seen him like post a flyer talk about now hiring dancers. <clears throat> so I DM'd him and he was like, send some pictures. I'm like, send some pictures. He said, yeah, send some pictures. Let me see how your body look. <laughs> okay, this part he did to everybody. I'm not even gonna fake, he did to everybody. So I'm like, okay. And then my sister um, text DM him too because I was nervous. I'm like, what the fuck do you say? Like, you know? And then she told her, he told her to say pictures too because, you know, he thought she was probably auditioning too or whatever. So, but she ain't saying no pictures because she wasn't doing shit. She was just getting information from me. So I sent the, I took like, one or two pictures no i think i took three yeah i took the front i took the side and then i took like a back and then i sent it in the dms yeah and then he was like okay come thursday you feel me that's why i came friday because i wasn't you feel me my head was fucked up my nails was fucked up my face was fucked up i didn't know what to expect <laughs> but yeah next question how did you approach them about wanting to dance? Oh shit, <laughs> I just answered it. That's exactly how I approached it. Like, I seen them posting a picture on Instagram talking about high-end dancers. I DM'd them, they talk about said pictures, boom, 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 I sent the pictures, and then it said, come Thursday. <laughs> All right, um, next one. 
do you have to buy your own outfits yes ma'am yes ma'am yes ma'am yo okay so when i started off it's this um we have like a branch of like exotic stores around it's called condom knowledge and they sell like dance or outfits they sell like you know sex toys and all that type shit so i bought me like one outfit i bought one outfit and it was like 25 dollars. it was like i didn't like get nothing like exotic like you know showing a lot i got me like a little skirt and then a little you know Something one of y'all bitches will wear and post on Instagram is the outfit that I got on fucking condom knowledge and I went and you feel me I fucking danced you know and then that night I made like two three hundred dollars it was a slow night I made like two three hundred dollars clap 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 I went home I was happy as fuck <laughs> I ain't never make that shit in the night like what <laughs> happy as fuck. And then I bought me some more outfits. You know, when you invest in yourself and make you like, you got to invest in yourself. Once you look good, you make more money. I promise you. So your girl bought her some more fucking outfits. And y'all, I had went my shoes that I had danced in. I didn't even have no dancer heels. Like I had the little, like the heel was like a block, literally some black heels, like some fucking church heels. <laughs> <laughs> so like leaving that day friday night because i didn't go thursday friday night he was like come in the back i got some shoes for you like see if you can fit it and then i put them on he was like see if you can walk in it and i walked in it and he was like you better practice in them bitches <laughs> but yeah so i didn't have to buy me no stripper heels for the moment because you feel me they gave me and it was only one they don't really do that you have to buy your shoes yourself but Thank God I was lucky enough, like, he had, like, some shoes back there. So, <clears throat> yeah. But, yeah, you have to buy your own outfit. You have to buy your own shoes. But I found out that Amazon, Amazon has some cheap-ass fucking outfits. And that's what I'm starting to do. Like, I'm starting to go to Amazon and buy my shit off of Amazon. Like, they have, like, collections, like, you know. And Etsy etsy but that shit is expensive as fuck like i wouldn't pay i would okay later like, <laughs> they outfits and shit like 70 80 you know but people in person sometimes you'll have people in person that are come to the club that sell clothes and their shit be like 60 70 so i don't know i'm iffy about etsy i've just found about <laughs> I just found out about Etsy. And it's like, only way I'm going to spend that much money is if it is in person. Because, yeah. But I don't know. I might. Depending on how much I make. Probably this summer, though, y'all. This summer. Because, y'all, I live in a tourist town. So, should be, like, it's dead right now. Because, you know, ain't nobody here. But once people start coming, spring spring break it's a fucking rap y'all spring break <laughs> all right let me stop i'm loud as fuck okay next question do they provide muaz makeup artists no ma'am no ma'am no ma'am and i've been to two clubs so far a small one and like a mediocre one and no ma'am they do not i mean maybe at the big 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 clubs like probably at a club in like miami or atlanta i feel like they might but because i feel like they might have house moms too and the house moms do all that shit but i don't know but that's for a bigger fucking club so i don't know and i feel like once you want to start off i feel like you should start off at a small club this, that's my opinion but yeah me i was obsessed with makeup if you know then you know if you don't know now you know i'm obsessed with fucking makeup so me having to do my makeup every single day took it away it lucky helped me out because your girl is getting better like <laughs> i thought i was good now bitch your girl is fucking great <laughs> but yeah 
next question did you take pole classes before dancing or did you know how to do it already nope i didn't take no classes and nope i did not know how to do that shit but when i started though i bought me a pole like after that first day the pole was 70 dollars. i ordered me that shit quick and it's this girl on youtube she got like a whole little program program thing her name fit to flaunt i'm gonna put it up here and like she got exercises to build like your upper strength so i did her video for like one day one single day and then when i was at the club i was climbing a fucking pole so it's like shit <laughs> i don't know that shit just come naturally i feel like it just come like don't be scared i promise you because look i like this off of p valley when the girl was teaching the girl how to do the pole she was like don't be scared of the pole you just gotta love the pole and when i'll be at the club drunk as fuck i'll be loving the pole and bitch i climbed that shit i was upside down on that bitch <laughs> Like, when I got off, I couldn't believe it. I could not fucking believe it. But you just gotta love the pole. Like, don't be upset. Don't be scared. You feel me? Yo, I only took one hit out this shit. And let me hurry up. Alright, next question. Least favorite part about dancing? My least favorite part is uh, when niggas come with no fucking money. That is my least favorite part. Like, yeah, it was the other day. Like, I don't know what they was. I don't know if they was Indians, Arabs, or what. But they felt, yeah, they felt the fucking club. Up. And not a single dollar was being thrown. Not to no dancer, not to nobody. Like, that's my least favorite part. When niggas broke as fuck coming to the club, like, stop fucking playing. <laughs> okay, next question What goes on in a private room? This is a good one. This is a good one because, yeah. So. This is what really, 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 really fucking happens. You dancing on the customer outside. You feeding them lies. Like, you know, you telling them you're going to do this and you're going to do that. That's probably why people have a negative outlook on strippers. Because we fucking lie to customers. Like, we lie to customers. Yeah, we lie. And we tell y'all that we about to fuck y'all. <laughs> Take y'all to the back. And y'all just getting some ass shaking in y'all face. And that's it. That's it. That's it. No fucking, no fingering, no sucking dick. None of that goes on in a fucking private room. I promise y'all. None of that shit goes on. All we do is lie to the fucking customers. Tell them we doing this. Tell them we doing that. Or whenever, <laughs> when we bring them to the back, all we do is shake ass. I promise y'all. But, 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 I'm not even gonna fake. I'm not even gonna fake. So the club that I started off with was a small ass fucking club. Y'all, I moved to like a different club. It's closer to where I live now. But that small one, that ghetto ass one, I feel like at ghetto clubs though, it all depends on the dancer. I promise y'all. Because it's customers, it was customers in there tried to fucking rape me. That's why I live. Like not really try to rape me, but they was rough and shit. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, what the fuck? What the fuck? Like, what the fuck? So, yeah. Like, and then I'm leaving. One of them, it was a Mexican. That nigga tried to kiss me. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? I almost punched that nigga in his fucking face. Like, but don't shit go on in the private room. Niggas think they get fucked. Niggas think they be getting some ass. No, ma'am. That shit do not happen. But at a ghetto ass club, it might happen and it all depends on the dancer. I promise you. Just know you, you're not allowing that shit, okay? If you don't want that shit to happen, do not allow that shit. I promise. Do not allow that shit. Do not allow that shit. Cuss that nigga out if you want to cuss that nigga out. You're not going to get in trouble and they might get their ass kicked out the club. 
but you you good don't allow nothing that you don't want to happen okay 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 all right can you work on your period Yes. <laughs> yeah. I wore a tampon. Like, if you know me, then you know I don't fucking wear tampons and I'm scared of that shit. And I will always shot. Like, you know, I do it and I could never do it. But my period had came one day and I was working. Well, I was supposed to work at night. And then, like, I don't know. I went to Walmart. I bought me a pad. I mean, not a pad, because I had pads already, but I bought me, um, what is that shit called? Tampons. Like, the smallest, the smallest, 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 smallest set of tampons I could fucking find. And I'm like, fuck, I work tonight, I'm on my fucking period, oh my fucking god, how am I gonna do this shit? I went home, no, I, I was at Walmart. I went to the bathroom, and I put that tampon in. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't as nerve wrecking nerve wrecking as it was like when I was in high school trying to do that shit. I was in high school trying to do that shit. I could not. I was so fucking scared. But now it's not that bad. Now all you need is a you know, I got the sm I wear the small ones. I don't know about nobody else. When I was telling one of my dancer friends, she was like, girl, no, you got to wear the big one. I'm like, hell no, I ain't pushing no big ass tampon up my coochie. That small one feel weird as fuck. I'm not putting no big one up there. But, yeah, you can work on your period. Wear a fucking tampon. Next question is, what is tip out? Okay, so tip out is the amount of money you have to pay to dance. <laughs> Literally. Literally, that's just it. Amount of money you pay to the doorman so that you can dance. My tip out, where I'm at, is compared to other places, I feel like it's low. So I ain't even gonna stress about shit. I'm not complaining. I'm not. I'll be watching videos. Other bitches be paying like 200. Hell fucking no. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. But if they're paying 200, that means that they make more fucking money. So. Tip out. Tip out is like, they're not gonna make you pay hella money when they know that you're not gonna make hella money. You feel me? Like, where I'm at, we open Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Friday and Saturday, our tip out is high. You know, because that's where, you know, the busiest, you make a lot of money. Thursday and Sunday, tip out is low because it's a 50 50 chance. You feel me? So, yeah. Okay. Next question Did stripping change you? Honestly, no, I don't feel like stripping changed me. I just feel like stripping enhanced me if that makes sense <laughs> like okay so your girl i love to work out so me dancing now it gives me a reason to fucking work out like bitch you have to work out so you can look good you feel me so you can stay fit you feel me you know it makes me want to get my nails done every day you feel me it enhances me you feel me like i don't know how to explain no it don't change me it just brings out my inner bitch like you for me so i don't know i'm looking y'all it's a car behind me like the fuck like the fuck all right and then this is the last question but it says when are the busiest nights like I said, Saturday, Sunday. I mean, no, no, no. Friday, Saturday, because, you know, that's the highest tip outs. I mean, honestly, though, it could be a Thursday. It could be a Sunday. It all depends on, like, you know, everybody have their good days. You feel me? Everybody have their bad days. Me? And then, honestly, it all depends on, like, 
if the customer picked that right no nah, if that dancer picked that right customer like bitch if you pick the customer with the most money bitch of course you're gonna have a great night <laughs> if you pick the wrong customer bitch of course you're gonna have a bad night so yeah it's all about the customers that have fucking money and like i said before like when you invest in yourself make your once you look good you make them you make money like when you look good you make money because i know it's bitches in there they be saying they dance for like 10 20 12 plus years like and i'm in there making more fucking money than them and the reason is i look all nice and cute and you know these bitches look raggedy as fuck like <laughs> so if look i'm not even gonna knock anybody down you feel me i'm not knocking nobody down but i'm just letting y'all know like if y'all want to become a stripper do that shit do that shit because i like look at me i'm doing that shit do that shit it's no nothing bad going on like you're not fucking nobody you're dancing and you're making hella fucking money dancing niggas wish they could do that shit i promise y'all i promise y'all but look it's bright as fuck now and that's the end of the video i hope y'all enjoyed it because i know i did And I'll see y'all in my next video, which I am recording. That's why, I, that's why this stripper Q and A look like this because I'm in the middle of, you know, making a vlog and shit. <laughs> Your girl been through some shit. I'm trying to get myself together. <laughs> so yeah, but I'ma see y'all next week. I love y'all. Bye.